Settings. You first need to set up your two-factor authentication. Set up a five-digit PIN code valid for 24 hours. You can use this PIN to access the app instead of your username and password. The TCO Central landing page lists all testing orders assigned to you by the Sample Collection Agency and indicates whether the app is online or offline. From that screen, you can access the settings by clicking the three dots on the top right corner to reset your PIN code, change the app language, or increase the auto-lock delay, which is one minute by default. List of testing orders. The list of testing orders indicates each mission order start and end date, the testing order number, the number of athletes, whether the tests are in or out of competition, the sport, and the location. You can access a testing order by clicking it. The instructions are a summary of the testing order. We recommend that you always read the instructions before starting the sample collection. Athlete Notification To start testing, click on an athlete's name to view their whereabouts, contact details, and any instructions from the Sample Collection Agency. Start the notification process within the Notification tab, where you will find an individual letter of authority, which is displayed in the preferred languages of the athlete. Complete the information and collect the athlete's signature. Sample Collection the information tab is to be completed when the athlete shows up at the doping control station with information such as Arrival at the doping control station information Athlete contact information which is downloaded from Adams where possible Athlete's sport discipline, level and support personnel information Declaration of Medical Use and Blood Transfusion The Samples tab displays a checklist of the samples required by the testing authority. To add a sample, click Add Sample, select the relevant type and complete the required information. The final document is displayed in both the language of the athlete and of the DCO. Upon completion of the doping control form, an encrypted PDF is emailed to the athlete and analyzing laboratories receive an anonymous version. All sealed documents are uploaded to Adams and available to the ADOs within the NextGen DCF module. Unsuccessful attempt DCO Central features an unsuccessful attempt form available only for athletes with whereabouts. To access the form, select an athlete with whereabouts, navigate to the bottom of the screen and click Add in the unsuccessful attempt section. Select the relevant whereabouts entry and complete the form. Athlete Refusal Should an athlete refuse to provide a sample, open the relevant test. On the top right corner, click on the three dots and select Athlete Refusal. Complete the form and submit. Chain of Custody Chains of custody are accessible via the main testing order screen. To add one, click Add in the Chain of Custody section, select a sample, click Done, and complete the relevant information. The lab is pre-populated based on the athlete's testing order. You will need to select a laboratory if you are creating a standalone test. Please note that in version 1.0, labs do not receive an electronic copy of the chain of custody.